I can turn that on now. So my G, I got y'all here today. Matter of fact, let's give a little light round of applause to everybody that we in the building. You know what I'm saying? This from my brother Kai. Um, I'm gonna just give a light introduction and then we are gonna get straight to the business and then we can just start talking however we want to talk. Dark right? words, right? Um, today I'm using the space Newport News. Y'all know me, man. It's Terrence Harris. If y'all, it might be your first time here checking me out. So my name's Terrence Harris. I own a space and a brand called Newport News where we help undervalued and underground creatives build their brand, get to a bag by using their personal experiences. So the reason why Kai is here is because he's superb at that. He has those things all the way mapped out. And I mean, I've been working with him for like two or three years, like two or three. Uh, whatever 2020 was, that's two. Yeah, so it's going on three. So it's like, from the moment I met him, you know, I've seen the points of how I could compliment what he's already doing well. That's, that's the whole gift behind what we do here, right? I'm like, I see you already. So instead of me trying to be you, I'm gonna just, support you right so it's like what I first thing i tell you i'm like man i see what you're doing on the youtube i see what you're doing with your brand you know reviewing the anime and stuff like that so you know we built and i'm like you're like well yeah i'm trying to be an artist though i'm trying to be on my artist i'm trying to get on my rap stuff like i'm trying to be intentional about making music so you know we went from talking about it doing promos um you headline one of the jaws in uh studio 59 shouts out to them and then, um, you know, filler, you know I mean, you've been rocking stages, meeting people, doing collabs, building your network, creating powerful messages. And that's why we're here today, because you about to drop the exclusive album on us. You mm -hmm. see what I mean? So introduce yourself. Tell everybody a little bit about yourself. And if you don't mind, you know, I mean, what we've established and what you gained just knowing me through me and in Newport News as well. All right, cool. Well, what's going on, y'all? I'm Kai Mazaku. Uh, I've been working with TJ for about two two and a half years now i'm amused like being a youtuber probably when i was like 12 going on to like 20 and i started uh, to become an artist at like 18 19. I, I didn't really want to do music but you know niggas got their heart broken one time they got in this feelings and now fast forward i'm here so yeah um as far as releasing like work or music this is like my first ever studio album period like help has been in the years of making since 2018 already to now for me working with my engineer aka best friend chino kevin jr he got some stuff on the way so look out for him michael young and without them two it, nothing would have really got up off the floor because i wasn't about to go to nobody's studio and then you know i mean try to you know cool i could like when you say it, start, like you gotta you say it, that's why the rares you guys say yeah, it, when you start expressing yourself you don't really want to do it in front of people sometimes you don't know Cause, you know you're afraid to be just like that so I'm like all right cool i know these two people see me be a dickhead all through high school ain't shit i can say yet yeah i mean be, that could surprise them but we went from there and it got to a point to where where my youtube audience was hearing my stuff and the stuff they was telling me after i would release music i would help them with their life i'm like okay this is something here so you know coming to high school a lot of people don't really have a calling and nothing like that or just graduated what i'm gonna do here so i didn't have none of that i didn't know what i wanted to do i knew i, I was good at art but I can't make no living or raise no family off yeah, this. Just like, that drawing pictures sometimes. It's, it's rare to do it. You can, but it's not, you know, you know, this, I think this form is probably. Bro, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's but at least, you. at least, like, I'm, I'm I'm good at this. I'm way, I'm good at this. And, um, yeah, I was drawing. I wasn't about to sit there and draw pictures until I was 45. I guess you. I ain't rapping until I'm 45 either. Don't get that straight. At the, we hit 30 something. That's it. Like I'm, I'm putting pins in everything you're saying. Yeah, we're gonna yeah, talk yeah, about yeah, everything. Yeah, you I, yeah, I ain't gonna do none of that shit. I'm probably doing some producing type shit, or like in the background. I ain't gonna be like Eminem. Keep making albums at 47. That's talk. Eminem's 47. Yeah, man. Yeah. He up there. He up there. He's kind of like right there with Jay. You're right. Yeah, he is like 47. I yeah. So like for my first project, I dropped on uh, July 2017, 13 mistakes. And then I followed up with Stay Alive. And Stay Alive, it had a different meaning because I was in a bad place in my life to where I didn't, I was waking up every morning not sure if I wanted to even live or die that day. And I was living reckless anyway. So it's like when you... When I feel you, like that's when I met you more in that process of the music. Like when yeah. you were finishing that. Yeah. Because yeah, 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 I, I remember that was the album I think I met you and you were like, you were working on it. Yeah, so I had dropped that. And then I started this uh, group called Cod Music Group. So only was like two people in it. But, you know, I, I I think I've been, like, the only one really doing shit in it. So it's really just me and this, John. So I dropped a whole EP with me and Kai Zhao later that year, 2019. So I dropped two projects that year. And then going to 2020, 
that's when like the full effect, okay, we got to get this help album on the works. So I started working on this song called Triple X Files 11. Right. And that, I think when I created that song, that was probably it when I'm like, okay, I can take this and I can push from here. This is where like the, the stardom starts at. And that song got over 100,000 streams on audio platforms. I made a lot of money off of that song, not just releasing it, but even performing that song. Like mm. shows I perform it at, I usually close out with that song. Sometimes we close on, most of them would close off. But I made over $2,000 since releasing just that song alone. It was right. small, and if anybody said, but it's like, to me, that's like, right. you feel me? And that song is still on the album. Then I dropped six stars right after that. That one also, that did even better than uh, Funhouse. Yeah. So now when we fast forward, with all the promotion in my dream, and I had to learn how algorithms work. And I learned that from my friend, uh, and Timmy, who's been making music probably just as long as I've had, but he had more, he was more in touch with the business stuff way before me. I was just creating songs where he was getting shows, getting his own book in New York, Jersey. So I'm learning, like I was started off learning the game from him, but then when I met you, I started to learn more of the business aspect. So it's like, I'm using both of these keys to really help me push this album. So like what I learned from you, what I learned from him, helped me prepare to release help one, two, and three. You know, obviously, it's three albums of one. I got three debut albums. I'm like, nobody else did this before. So I wanted to do something mm. first. All right. So I got help one that's more based off of mental health. And it got little songy songs on there, but it got some neat songs in there. But I wanted to show that I could spit too. You feel me? Because I, I got some songs where I got, you know what I mean? In, in the past, I'm just yelling that shit or I'm just like, yo, fuck a bitch, just give me fuck it. So I'm like, yo, I know I can spit like this. But to me, rapping like that wasn't always fun. Because like, all right, how many times I'm going to hear some lyrical, spiritual miracles in the river. Like, it, it, it gets tiring. Like, Eminem was my favorite, one of my favorite rappers. But I got I got to a point, I'm like, yo, bro, like, how many albums are you going to... Syllable starting yeah, out. Like, how, I can't enjoy this. Yeah. Like, I can't work out to this. I can't do nothing to none of your music. And it's like, you just rhyming. I love it, but it's like, bro, like, do something else. Like, what's the storytelling? So I started getting in touch with storytelling, probably even in my first project with this song called February 17th. So that's 2017. And I haven't even begin doing storytelling again, probably to this album. So I've been like four years of making music, kind of like a bed in storytelling. So I'm like, I got to incorporate storytelling. I got to put some lyrics in this and I got to make sure it's a song that people can listen to. So this I got all help one. This is all help one. This is all, hey. this, this is all in this one album. So I'm like, okay, Guacamole. you know, that's a Haitian for like, you know, I miss you, whatever like that. So I made that song with uh, uh, man's Michael Young. So I got that joint, and I when I had listened to the beat the first time, I bought it right away. I, I don't buy beats. I usually get them made. Yeah, I got, cause I got like you know, my own producer. I used to get beats. This is the first time I actually bought a beat. I made it, caught mic up. Hey, bro, I got this joint for us. This joint, I'm telling you, so hot. He slide through. He do what he got doing there. Boom. That joint already got over ten thousand streams on, uh, on yeah. Spotify, and it got over like two thousand streams on uh, Apple Music. Word. So that's that's doing real good right now. So I got that there. Dream for a freestyle, probably something with some more lyrical. No hook, no nothing. And then you really, like, y'all pay attention to my music. A lot of my songs don't got hooks, don't got choruses. So I wanted to make sure, all right, let me add some more of those to this album. Okay. Some stuff that I didn't have before, so. Traditional song stuff. Exactly. So I got Mocking Way, that's, that's a chorus, and it's a nice songy song to listen to. And it got, like, this Latin, you know, Afro or dancehall type feel to it. But then I got Dream of a Freestyle when I'm spitting. Then I got the intro to when I got a Curry singing on it, and I got my mom doing her poetry on there. Mind you, that poem is lost now. I lost really? my phone. So that's uh, that that song's the only I remember place. you showed me that before the album came out. Is that gonna I think I played a show in Berlin. But now it's like it's ironic because three days after I incorporated that poem on that song, I lost my phone. So that so that that poem's gone. So it, but it's gonna live with forever. Yeah, it exists. Yeah. Like John. So it's like even when I perform the song, like my mom can't make it every show because let's get like a titanium lace. She can't make it every show. Okay. But when I perform that song like on shows, I feel like she there with me okay. at all times. So I did what I had to do in there. Kill Cancer Coach, I did for uh, Reason to Eric Bigelow. That seemed to be like everybody's favorite on the album so far, and it's one of my favorites too. And I got a turn back time with some soft, some little soft joint, you know, everybody being a young beat on their little Philly feels with a lo fi type beat on there too. Cause I'm like, that's really popular now. And I listen to lo fi, so I'm like, let me go ahead and sprinkle some soft stuff on there, but then I can sing. And get that on there. So I got yeah. that. I got my song, your songs, got everything. Even No County Road Part Two. 
those for the older fans that listen. What, North, your, what was that one called? North County Road Two. That's like the oh, outfit. Yeah, 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 I heard. I, that's one of the. Yeah. No, so sweet. that's for like, like a, if anybody else listening to Stay Live One and Two, I just want to incorporate something from there onto here because Stay Live is what worked. That's what kind of made me realize. Okay, I could really do something with this. Cause I had I used to sing format, but stay alive would help. Stay alive. The first half is like soft music. Second half is like hard stuff. Yeah. So it's like, all right, cool. But now that's that's how part one, and I feel that it can help a lot of people going through mental health issues, especially with Blue Candy Three. Now I wrote that in general, but then it ended up being like about a like about a girl and shit like yeah. that. But it's still some shit like that. It's a good ass song. So we got help too. Subjects, man. Yeah, especially. So when you got help part two, that's all rock. Now. I grew up with many influences, 50 Cent, um, DMX, but then I also grew up listening to Lincoln Park, Green Day, All American Remix. Yeah. So I wanted something else that influenced me that I can touch a whole different crowd that I never touched before. The only reason why I feel like Help 2 could work is because Funhouse worked. Funhouse is a mixture yeah, of like trap beat, more confident, rap, doing yeah, and, and like, you know, some of that metal rap stuff that's kind of really servicing now. And that was like, also inspired by X, 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 and Tossi. I'm just why I named it Triple X, Final Eleven. Oh, so, no, I, I, you know, yeah. it's interesting you said that because, I mean, that's that's what I gained from it. So now that you're saying it, I'm like, okay. I'm all right, like, cool. So the attention was there. So it's like, yeah. all right, Final House Eleven working made me, okay, I can make five tracks like this. Right. Boom. Help Part Three, that's all gangsta shit. I'm going to keep it real. Like, help one is I meant to help. Help they ain't got nothing to do with none of that shit. That's just like, yeah, that's me being me. Uh, growing up in the environment in Philly. You see some things, you do some things, some things you talk about, some things you don't. You know what I mean? But yeah, Hell Part Three is just all drill shit. Okay. All mixed by Chino. He like he like he whatever it sounded like, he made that shit tell him ten times better than what it was. So shit. Like he, he really yeah, did his engineers thing. be surgical. You know what I'm saying? Be bringing you back to life. <laughs> yeah, I think Hell Three is also where I really experimented on choruses. Cause like a lot of people, it's easy to make a chorus for a song sometimes, because they're like Songs we usually saw for, you know, for the message. Ain't no real message in Help Part 3 besides, you know what I mean? Try to just make fire-ass songs. Yeah. To so, like, to, to, to make, nothing. like, choruses that could go with that and still sound good. Like, my niggas on Come With Deep Pocket, Carry With Them Blicky Shit, Hell Out of Rocket, Me and Mikado just came from McDonald's. What I said to that? Got hoes in the crib with Gnaz and Menages. That's tough. Yeah. After that, that shit on the rooftop. I was on the rooftop thinking about that shit. Most shit, this is all tough. I could put that joint in the song. Do my little jaw. And that jaw is actually, I'm like, oh, it's going to sound solid. Chino mixed that shit to perfection. Then I got um, Kyle Lesbury, like, boy, you ain't riding this nigga facade. He can't come aside. Just push a bit, bitch, in there hiding. Mm-hmm. I'm like, yo, I got this. Um, once, I did, once I did that, I'm like, hey, yo, I could do this. And I think King Von was a big influence because he was like, Word, that's, like, man. I like listening to his music, but like, yo, this man choruses be like yeah. out the window. Yep. Like his, his, his he, yeah. and I like extended choruses like that. Like people make like a chorus and be like eight bars. His choruses was like sixteen bars, and then he go to the verse. I'm like, I'm doing that. Yeah, I'm doing that. Right. I'm doing that. So I need right. chorus. So yeah, my spirit and like with choruses definitely will help three shows that. I think that's where help three, help one is where I show like my most growth. Because a lot of people didn't expect help one to be that good. I didn't expect it to be that good or something that good. So when I dropped it and I sat down and I listened to it. Now, mind you, we listen to, mind you, I was here through the whole process, but when you hear everybody else fucking with it, I didn't get not one negative view on her what, and I expected that, like many negative reviews. For some reason, you know, people, not, yeah, they can't be everybody. Yeah. But it's like, yo, everybody would really like it. Shit. Okay, cool. But like, when dropping help one, two, and three, I wanted to get the message across, because you got niggas out here that be on some weird shit. They be like, say I drop a song, like on help one, say like I dropped, I just dropped like, North County Road 2, they listen to it, they like it. I play them something from Help D, and they be like, yeah, I like that shit, but I think you should probably stay in this lane. Niggas that be trying to get you to stay any kind of lane is some bitch-ass niggas. Like, for real. <laughs> and I'm happy somebody only told me that through, like, through, like, a show shoe site, because I'll smack the shit out of somebody saying that yeah. to my face. Right. That's weird, because it's like, bro, like, for like, it was like, imagine Tyler, the creator, somebody told Tyler to stay in his lane, or somebody right. told Kanye to stay in his lane. Right. I ain't trying to say like I'm like them, but I'm like them. You're right. I know, bro. Was, that's like, why I had you here. So you know like, saying? don't tell me that because I could do whatever I want and I can make it sound good. And I did it. You know, I did it. I dropped Hell One, Hell Two, Hell Three, like I said I would three years ago. You're right. Only hard part is gonna be topping that shit next time I drop an album. <laughs> but it's like, 
I'm not doing no three party joint again. Every day of the next time it's all on one. But yeah, I feel you see. What we is gonna do? It's gonna hit like three though. <laughs> yeah. Me and my team, we working on um, getting a deluxe out. So you know, those are not how you got to help one, two, three. They're all separated. What we're gonna do, we're gonna combine them and we're gonna I'm actually gonna sit them down. We're gonna figure out how we're gonna rearrange the set list to where it sounds appropriate and we're gonna add some more songs to it. Cause when and then we look at something like I sold like 64 copies since the March 25th since I dropped it. A lot of people that sound a lot to me. That's a lot. I sold 64 copies of that. That's crazy. And I just started promoting like pure full buyout copies like 72 hours ago. And I right. sold 21 of those. Yeah. In my head, I'm like, I said, fucking did this shit from day one. But I'm like, yo. Uh, you, like you said, you've been touching your bases. But I'm like, yo, like it really worked that way. So, yeah. you know, when I do this deluxe, I already got everything marketed out. I'm going to add maybe about five, six more songs. I ain't about to pressure people on a 30 song album. So that's going to be the most songs I already heard before. We're going to fix some things. We're going to tweak some stuff and we're going to get it right. Not like Kanye when he kept editing the life of Pablo. This is just going to be one edit, mm. full out, we're going to be good. But mm. yeah, so once we get that out, we're going to do these shows too, even before that drop. I'm planning on dropping that one like in August. Yeah. And I'll probably do a couple shows after that. But most of the time after that, it's going to be rest mode, we're doing features. And just seeing where this music takes me since, you know, you know, from that point. And that's all 2023 work. That's all TVA. I don't know what's happening there, but I know me, you know, my nigga shopping music. So if it's going to be like a collab tour after that, you know, I'm open to do that. Because yeah. by that time, like uh, Kevin Jr. She already dropped. Michael Young sort of already mm-hmm. dropped. And Timmy already dropped. And I already had my deluxe album out. That probably at that time, but I sold even more. Mm-hmm. And then boom, we go from there. Cause my I'm only counting like the sales from the newer songs. I didn't even incorporate. I think on Funhouse and Six Stars, cause that's also on the album. You know, you you RSC codes and stuff like that. One, you tap the algorithm on Spotify. You upload four weeks or prior on Spotify. This is an artist. You help your songs reach the algorithm. Well, when y'all know what that is. Say random person. I li- I listen to blues. You just dropped the blues album. You, everybody got a release radar on Spotify if you ever look at it. It can pop up on that. My teacher, his name is Mr. Coletti, shout out to him. Shout, shout out to Yeah, him. shout out to him. He, uh, Anthony had just transferred to my class. That's Anthony. That's my man's. And he set him next to me. Mm. And the rest was history. History, right. And when I had dropped the album, Help too. he listened to rock. Mr. Coletti listened to rock. On his radar was me and Anthony. And it's crazy how that worked out for a circle because he set him next to me. Cause I ain't like his ass. I'm like, damn, he about to sit this nigga next to me. I don't know. Right, yeah. Like, like this one. Right. Knowing ass little boy, I'm like, fuck this nigga sitting this bitch ass nigga next to me. I was the only dude with no seat next to him. I hear he come talking about Yeezys and shit like that. I think he's a big Kanye fan. But you know, that that worked out right. for a circle because it's like, man, oh, yeah. like you set us next to each other and now on your radar, we popped that's up. That's us. Mm-hmm. That's us right there. Cause he doesn't follow me. He was on Spotify. Right. Oh, he just yeah, popped yeah, up. Like you said, like he just. In his regular vibe, right? Exactly. So it's like, man, like it's really working. It's it's getting out there and doing this thing. I-